said, please forgive me for having this stuff in my mouth. <laughs> Anyways, what is in your heart? I am not. There's going to be only no time. So, what's time for you? Yeah, okay. <laughs> There's going to be no time to really have any comment, so we're just going to read some scripture today. Because with communion service and everything, it's all going to go quick, and it's already 11.33. So, if you open your Bibles up, if they're still open, to Deuteronomy, beginning at 32.1. Give either, O ye heavens, and I will speak, and hear, O earth, the words of my mouth. My doctrine shall drop as the rain. My speech shall distill as the dew, as the small rain upon the tender earth, and as the showers upon the grass. Because I will publish the name of the Lord, ascribe ye greatness unto our God. He is the rock. His work is perfect. For all his ways are our judgment, a God of truth, without iniquity, just and right is He. I know I said I wasn't going to comment, but I can't help myself. <laughs> what are we talking about here? We're talking about God's character, aren't we? Isn't this what we're talking about? Moses, when Moses said, "Show me, show me yourself," what did God do? He showed him His character, didn't He? Great and merciful is the Lord. They're, what, they're synonymous with the law. The law and God's character are synonymous. They're one and the same. They cannot be separated. Sorry. I just The word is so wonderful. They have corrupted themselves. Their spot is not the spot of his children. They are a perverse and crooked generation. Do ye thus requite, requite the Lord? O foolish people and unwise, is not he... The, thy father that hath brought, bought thee, hath he not made thee and established thee? Remember the days of old. Consider the years of many generations. Ask thy father, and he will show thee thy elders, and they will tell thee. When the Most High divided to the nations their inheritance, when he separated the sons of Adam, and he set the bounds of the people according to the number of the children of Israel, the Lord's portion is his people. Jacob is the lot of his inheritance. He found him in a desert land, and in the waste, howling wilderness. He led him about. He instructed him. He kept him as the apple of his eye. As an eagle stirreth up her nest, fluttereth over her young, spreadeth abroad her wings, taketh them, beareth them, beareth them on her wings. So the Lord alone did lead him, and there was no strange God with him. He made him ride on the high places of the earth, that he might eat the increase of the fields. And he made him suck honey out of the rock, and oil out of the flinty rock. Is this anything that man did on his own? No. Did God choose Israel because it was the mightiest? No. Why did he choose Israel? They were, they, they were nothing. Right? They were nothing. God made them who they were. He brought something out of nothing. How old was Abraham when he had Isaac? A hundred. A hundred years old. Bob, you ready to have a kid? <laughs> You're almost a hundred. What do you think? A hundred years old having children? A hundred years old having children. <laughs> He's just gonna laugh. Let's turn our Bibles to Psalms. That, it does. It does. Uh, Psalm 28. Like I said, I'm gonna try to just read some scriptures without taking the time to comment. We don't have a lot of time. In the Psalm of David, Psalm 28. You all there? Yeah. Unto thee will I cry, O Lord, my rock. Be not silent to me, lest if thou be silent to me, I become like them that go down into the pit, 
Hear the voice of my supplications when I cry unto thee, when I lift up my hands toward thy holy oracle. Draw me not away with the wicked and with the workers of iniquity, which speak, it, which speak peace, peace to their neighbors, but mischief is in their hearts. Give them according to their deeds and according to their wickedness of their endeavors. Give them after the work of their hands. Render to them their desert. Because they regard not the works of the Lord, nor the operation of his hand, hands. He shall destroy them and not build them up. Blessed be the Lord, because he hath heard the voice of my supplications. The Lord is my strength and my shield. My, my heart trusteth in him, and I am helped. Therefore my heart greatly rejoiceth. And with my song will I praise him. The Lord is their strength, and he is the saving strength of his anointing. Save thy people, and bless thine inheritance. Feed them also, and lift them up forever. Amen. Psalm 31, beginning in verse 1. In the Lord, in thee, O Lord, do I put my trust. Let me never be ashamed. Deliver me in thy righteousness. Bow down thine ear to me. Deliver me speedily. Be thou my strong rock. For a house of defense to save me. For thou art my rock and my fortress. Therefore, my, for thy name's sake, lead me and guide me. Pull me out of thy net that they have laid privily for me. For thou art my strength. Into thy hand I commit my spirit. Thou hast redeemed me, O Lord. God of truth. I have hated them that regarded lying vanities, but I trust in the Lord. I will be glad and rejoice in thy mercy, for thou hast considered my trouble. Thou hast known my soul in adversities. It has not shut me up into the hand of thy enemy. Thou hast set me my feet in a large room. Have mercy upon me, O Lord, for I am, tr I am in trouble. Mine eye is consumed with grief, yea, my soul and my belly. For my life is spent with grief, and many years with sighing. My strength faileth because of my iniquity, and my bones are consumed. I was a reproach among all mine enemies, but especially among my neighbors, and a fear to mine acquaintance, that they did see me without fled from me. I am forgotten as a dead man out of mind. I am like a broken vessel. For I have heard the slander of many. Fear was on every side. While they took counsel together against me, they devised to take away my life. But I trust in thee, O Lord. I said, Thou art my God. My times are in thy hand. Deliver me from the hand of mine enemies and from them that persecute me. Make thy face to shine upon thy servants. Save me for thy mercy's sake. Let me not be ashamed, O Lord, for I have... I have called upon thee. Let the wicked be ashamed, and let them be silent in the grave. Let the lying lips be put to silence, which speaketh grievous things proudly and contemptuously against the righteous. Oh, how great is thy goodness, which thou hast laid up for them that fear thee, which thou hast wrought for them that trust in thee before the sons of men. This is just beautiful. Anyways, I'm going to turn to uh, Psalm 18. Psalm 18. In verse 2. The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer, my God, my strength, in whom I will trust, my buckler, and the horn of my salvation in my high tower. 18 and 31. For who is God, save the Lord? Or who is the rock? Save our God. Psalm 19, and beginning in verse 5. Which is a bridegroom coming out of his chamber and rejoices as a strong man to run a race? His going forth is from end of the heavens, and his serpent unto the ends of it. And there is nothing hid from the heat thereof. The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul, the testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. The statutes of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. 
The commandment of the Lord is pure, enlightening the eyes. The fear of the Lord is clean, enduring forever. The judgments of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. More to be desired are they than gold, yea, than much fine gold, sweeter also than honey and the honeycomb. Moreover, by them is thy servant warned, and in keeping of them there is great reward. Who can understand his errors? Cleanse thou me from secret faults. Keep back thy servants also from presumptuous sins. Let them not have dominion over me. Then shall I be upright, and I shall be innocent from the great transgression. Let the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be acceptable in the sight of the Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Amen. Amen. Psalm 94. We're just going to go through these quick. I'm going to try not to talk too much and just read the gospel of Jesus Christ. 94.14. <coughs> For the Lord will not cast off his people, neither will he forsake his inheritance. 95.1. O oh, come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. Psalm 62, verse 6. 62 and 6. He is my rock and my salvation. He is my defense. I shall not be moved. And God is my salvation and my glory, the rock of my strength. And my refuge is in God. Trust in Him at all times, ye people. Pour out your heart before Him. God is a refuge for us. Surely men of low degree are vanity, and men of high degree are a lie. To be laid in the balance, they are altogether lighter than vanity. Trust not in oppression, and become not vain in robbery. If riches increase, set not your heart upon them. God has spoken once. Twice have I heard this, that the power belongeth unto God. Also unto thee, O Lord, belongeth mercy, for thou rendereth to every man according to his works. Now we're going to move into the New Testament, 1 Corinthians. 1 Corinthians 10. 1 Corinthians 10, and verse 4, 10, 4. Okay? <laughs> When you get there to say amen. amen. I'm making this quick. I'm going to make it quick. And did all drink the same spiritual drink? For they drank of that spiritual rock that followed them, and that rock was Christ. Christ. Make no bones about it, brothers and sisters. That rock is Jesus Christ. Old Testament, New Testament. <coughs> Turn your Bibles to Ephesians. A little bit more right. Galatians, Ephesians. <coughs> Ephesians 2 and 20. There. Amen. And are built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets of <coughs> Jesus Christ himself, being the chief cornerstone. What is the chief cornerstone, brothers and sisters, as you turn to 1 Peter 2? What is the chief cornerstone? That's right. First Peter 2. On the second Peter, that's why it's wrong. First Peter 2, 6. It is the, it is the foundation, right? Okay, 1 Peter 2, 6. Wherefore also it is contained in the scripture, Behold, I lay in Zion a chief cornerstone, and left it. <laughs> Excuse me? Precious. And he that believeth on him shall not be confounded. Who is this writing this book? Peter. Peter. Is there not religions that call Peter? Who? The rock. What does Peter say? Jesus. Jesus. Oh, okay. So we clarified that, didn't we? All right, so through the Bible here, the Bible is clarifying the fact that Jesus Christ is the rock. Okay? Now we're going to read the scripture that seals the deal. I'm going to go after you. Luke 20. 
Luke chapter 20. Wonderful when you just let the Bible speak for itself, isn't it? Luke 20, and I'm going to, when you're all there, just say amen. We're going to start in verse 17, and we're going to read to 18. <coughs> and he beheld them and said, What is this then that is written? The stone which the builders rejected, the same is become the head of the corner. This is the important verse here, brothers and sisters. Don't miss this if you missed everything else. Whosoever shall fall upon that stone, what stone is that? Jesus. Jesus. Shall be broken. You must be broken, brothers and sisters, by this rock. You must fall upon it. Because what's the, what's the last part here? But whomsoever it shall fall, it will grind him to powder. We don't want to be grounded with power, do we? No. We want to be broken by the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And if we're broken by falling upon the rock of the Lord Jesus Christ, He can rebuild us. He can rebuild us in a wonderful way. Do things for us that we can't do for ourselves. He can turn our hearts of stone into a heart of flesh. We, be connect we become connected with the Almighty. So instead of scorpions... We can be prophets and kings, you see, and follow the Lord Jesus Christ. I can't think of any other way than just head on off to communion. So when we come back, we're going we're gonna to go off. The men are going to go in the back fellowship hall, and the women are going to go to what color kind of door? Blue. The blue door. And when we come back, we're going to get in every other pew, starting at the first, starting at the back. Okay, sit at the back pew and then skip a pew and then, you know, all the way up. That's the way we're going to do it. So, men, if you.